everybody, how's it going? Welcome to another MAMJ Let's Play of the San Man. When we left off, we had to do a lot of wandering around. I finally figured out how to open that stupid door, and we got a pearl for a pony. Now, I'm not quite sure what's going on, but the same man just kind of left in a rush, and he looked mad, like legit upset about something. So, I figured I would go through these rooms here and see if there's anything maybe that he left behind or did something by accident. I'm not sure. Maybe we should go deeper in. I don't want to use the magic mirror and teleport anywhere because I might miss something. Uh, he may just be mad because I talked to the unicorn, but how would he know that? How would he be aware of that fact already? Did he leave this door open? No, he locked it. You sneaky, sneaky old man. Alright, maybe I need to talk to Lullaby again. Because I don't know... Oh, what's this? Help, help! What happened? The statue fell! I can't move! Heavy, heavy! Uh, can I help you with something? Uh, what I got? I got freaking... I got a stick. Just hold on a sec, I'll lift the statue with the stick, you'll be out soon, got it? Okay, hurry, hurry! Hurrah! Whoa! Good job, Sophie! I'm out, I'm out! Thank you, Sophie, thank you! Are you hurt? I'm fine. I owe you, Sophie, lifesaver Sophie. I'll give you this good thing as thanks for helping me. What the? These are pretty big for glasses. Read! You can read! Wear those and you can read anything! They're the Sandman's, but Lifesaver Sophie can have them. Trans- Oh! Hold on! So does that mean I can read all the memos now? Because that would be amazing. Uh, come on. There were memos all over the place. I guess I'll just keep going for now. But I should be able to read stuff. That will help out a lot. I won't need lullaby anymore. <laughs> Don't need you, jerk. Not even trying to help me. Okay, so there was something, um, I think in the portal room. Sad stars. Oh, I got a glass shard? Okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Memo, you can't read it. Yes, I can. I got the grasses. Wear them. Memo written by the same man. Human souls are phenomenally beautiful. There's the value in extracting and examining them as jewels. Of course, one research is concluded, I intend to return... Oh, once research is concluded, return to... Tend to return them to their owners. But does that unicorn think I'll give any to him? I know he has his own crude intentions for wanting to see human hearts. And if they're broken, there's no fixing them. He's trying to break in. Despicable. I'll have to set up traps around the house. You won't take these precious souls. Oh, so is that like my soul that I gave him? Because that would be bad. A bundle of paper stacked with writing. Can I read them? No? I look goofy with these glasses on <laughs> okay that's probably not a good thing then I probably should have taken that pearl back but he offered to let me have it so why did he not want my soul I don't know I don't know what's going on okay, there should be plenty of other notes to read though so I need to do that what's this was that there before see a hole in the ground there's a hole in the ground I see a ladder sure Oh god, where am I now? Hi? Hi, what's your name? St stop moving! Cleaning, 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 cleaning on the ground since I'm bored. Okay. Shiny metal on the ground. Key to somewhere. Okay, I'm making some progress. I don't think that hole was there before though. Uh, I should probably go back down this hall because... Just in case I miss something. If anything, I'll just teleport back, but I want to read all the notes. I know there were some at the beginning that I needed to read. Whoa! That's a Tooth Fairy and... Yeah! Tooth Fairy and Nixie, what are you two doing here? Hey, Sophie, we're just sitting down to tea. Isn't this the same man's house? Can you just come inside like that? Can't you come inside and go as you please? Same man's house is a place for everyone to gather. It's comfy and such great tea, too. Tea with Nixie's a bore, but Dwarf's not here. I guess the tea's good enough that I can tolerate an old water wench, eh? Say what, you toothless grandpa? Same to you. I don't want to drink tea with a coot. I just have no choice with no handsome men around. Hee <laughs> hee. 
Why are you hee-heeing at me? I'm not a handsome man. Hey, finally a smile, Sophie. Much cuter like that, you know. Oh, was I smiling? Uh, oh, really? Oh, yes. So much better than that irritated look you've had. Thanks. Fairies seem pretty busy with work, but from what I hear, you seem to be having fun. I'm kind of jealous. You bet it's fun. Rotten teeth, sure, but I don't mind it. Oh, yes, I do visit the human world at times, but this world's a clear winner for fun. Well, how about staying here? Uh, you won't have much fun if you go back, will you? Well, good luck to you, Sophie. We'll be watching how things go. Hope it goes the way you want it. Thanks, guys. Uh, maybe it's a key to here? I don't know. I should save, though, because I haven't saved in a minute. And I've actually made progress, which is actually really surprising. Oh, it, it did? Oh. Holy crap, I'm making progress. It was either going to be this room or the uh, other room, the big doors that were locked. A button. Push it. Okay, don't push it then. The mysterious machine has a funnel thing on top. Thick gloves made of hide. Got hide gloves. So with the pot on it, pot's empty, and there's no flame. Milling machine. I could grind up the snore of fruit with this, but I should boil the crowd gel fluid first. Oh, so this is where we're going to make the... This candle's too hot to carry. But the same man memo said, boil it with red flame. How can I get this flame over there? Okay. She's, she's trying to make the freaking sand. So we need to go back to the entrance because I wonder if this glass shard will actually cut off that tail. And I have gloves. Right here. Yeah, cut it off. Cut it off with the glass shard. We did it! Okay, so now that we're here at the entrance, I'm gonna go slowly back and see if I can read any more memos that were left here. Because there were memos before. Here we go. Memo written by the Sandman. Things were better then. The world was flat. So day, uh, uh, so day was day everywhere, everywhere, night was night. Day came to all humans at the same time. But now what? The world is round. Wherever it's day, the other side comes night. Nights when everyone sleeps cease to be. So he's saying that the world used to be flat for real and then it became round? I guess? Memo written by the Sandman. How lovely it is to see children sleeping so soundly. I would never want them to lose their pure, trusting hearts. Let this room be dedicated to those children. Their portraits shall be accompanied by blessings. May their lives be brilliant ones. May they be joyful in the light of day and sleep peaceful in the dark of night. Is it just me or does he seem like a good guy? Is he like possessed or something like that? Is that what it's going to be? Like he's actually been taken over or it's an imposter? And that's why he's trying to put everybody to sleep all of a sudden? I don't know. I think I've read all the notes though. I think. But just in case... We'll take this one nice and slow. No rush in here. So I thought the key might go to there, but I guess it doesn't since we already used it. All right, so there's no notes anywhere else. Nothing here. Nothing here. Okay, I think we have all the ingredients to make the sand. I believe so, at least. So I guess I can just teleport my way back. Um, medicine storage? Maybe? Oh, that's like two rooms down from where I was. Stop blocking me. <sighs> okay. I gotta go through this room again. I wish it would give me a, a better place to start from. I also look ridiculous in these glasses. I kind of like them, but I look ridiculous. I'm, I don't know if there's a penalty for keeping them on all the time. Like, if the Sandman sees me, is he gonna, like, yell at me or something? Of course, these guys didn't say anything about me wearing these ridiculous glasses. So maybe nobody cares. Maybe I'm just worrying too much. Okay, so we need to boil the stuff, but we have the glass, or the gloves. Use the gloves. No? Uh, there's a button. I don't know. I thought I'd be able to use the gloves for it. 
Okay, what's it say exactly? Can, uh, candle's too hot to carry. Same as the memo said, boil with red flame. How can I get this flame over there? Can I push it? Eh, no. Is there nothing I can use? Put out emerald flames after use. Okay. Mm. How to make sleeping sand. Put cryo fluid in a pot and boil with red flame. Grind up snore flute. Okay. P pot and boil. The only thing I could think of doing is to put... Uh, the... Crap. What was it? Not the fluid. The fruit... Am I missing something? I feel like I'm missing something. What am I? What what ingredient am I missing? Our secret ingredient. Seriously, crap. Which memo was it? What's this memo? How to make sleeping sand? Cryogel fluid in a pot. Okay, so there's a cryogel, then the snorer fluid. Okay. Cryogel fluid in the pot. No. Okay, put, put the cryogel fluid in. There we go. Alright, put it in the pot. It has fluid in it. Okay, thanks. I, I wanted to. I wanted to move the pot over here, but I guess I can't. Well, I'll just take somebody I can carry the candle. Why didn't you say that before? Even the flame's not hot at all. I can just carry the flame itself. What the weirdness? Move the red flame to the stove. Okay, so it's boiling. Why are we having cooking time? Just curious. The Snora Flora fruit. Oh, I gotta grind it in here. Maybe the milling machine. Okay, grind up the Snora fruit with this. Why can't I say the word fruit? I don't know. I'm stuttering. It's really hard to say fruit, apparently. This is an amazing grinding noise. Okay. Did you put it in? Now we need the tail. I hope I don't mess this up. I really hope I don't mess this up. Uh, hang on. Okay. So we already ground it. Boil it along with it. Put cauterized tail in pot and boil. Okay. Yeah, so the tail should go in here. No? You want to put it in that bowl? Why are you doing this to me? I thought we already ground the... Oh! Okay. They made it a powder and put it back in my inventory. I didn't know that. Oh, this game. The little things. Okay. Put, the, put that in the pot. Then we put the tail in there. Yes. Kerplunk. Mmm. Smells so good. I can't. It's sleeping powder. Okay, is it ready now? Pour the broth into this bowl. All right. We want to put that under here, right? Uh, I don't know. Pour the broth in. Do, do we have it? We got it? Uh, I don't see it. If we do, I don't see it. Push it. Push the button. Been wanting to push it for six days already. Sounds like a car. Ding! A small pile of powder. Sleeping sand. I need to, something to carry it in. Uh, do we have something to carry it in? The gloves? No. Pot. Wait, don't I have a bowl? No. Where'd you put the bowl? Okay. Well, I need something. Uh, where do I, where do I get something to put it in? Uh, what about that bucket out here? Maybe? Can we take it? No. 
I've got the sand literally right here, right in front of me, and I can't do anything with it. Uh, where, 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 what, how, why? All right, I gotta find something. I don't think I have the the item I need to carry something in it. <sighs> can I have your glass? No. Where can I go to get something like that? Okay. Cell phone, town map, notice. Uh. Medicine storage? Maybe? Nope. One of these bags? Oh! Well, that was way easier than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, we got a bag now. Now we teleportate our way to. Well, it really wouldn't help because it. Well, as far as we can go is right here. And then I gotta mirror walk my way through. But I'm making progress. I'm so excited. <sighs> last last time I was like completely behind on my progress, but now we're actually doing really really well. So that's good. I don't know why I take the exact same path every time I go down this way. In case you guys are wondering, it's just kind of I'm pushing directions and they go the opposite of where I want them to, so I just deal with it and that's the direction I go. Excuse me, lady who tried to kill me. Now I got the bag. There we go. Put it in the sack. Right, so now we have sleeping sand. Which is great. That's wonderful news. I don't know what I'm supposed to do next, though. I really don't. You guys. Uh, take care of little squares. Say Mr. Stubborn Coop, but he's no villain. Uh huh. I don't know what I'm going to do about the Sandman. Also, where'd Lullaby go? He, like, left me. Alright, so we have the sleeping sand. I don't think I want to pour it down where all the holes are here, because that would be bad. That's what he did, right? A hole, yeah. That's what he did. Eh, get out of my way. Mysterious machine. Okay. Sandman. What should we do? Uh, I don't want to stop and get lost. I'm doing so well. Alright, I guess we'll, like, walk out of the building and see if we can either talk to Unicorn or find Lullaby. Um, because now we have this wand and we have the sleeping sand and I really don't know what I'm supposed to be doing with any of this. She looks so goofy with her eyes that <laughs> dilated. Those glasses, they don't make your eyes that big. Alright. Otherwise, his eyes are just really, really bad. But I guess... You know what? Let's be safe and take them off. Because I don't want the same man to know I have them. There we go. Much better. Your eyes are still gigantic, but you don't look as doofy. Let's just head out. See what we can find. Same man went out. Did he kill the unicorn or something? Hey, buddy. You still alive? Wait, well, that hurt. What's wrong? You got a big lump on your head. I mean, not your horn. Same man beat me up and he took the pink jewel after I got it from you and everything. Oh, really? Hmm. That doesn't sound nearly as bad, though. Dwarf, you still okay? Did he beat you up too? Yeah, buddy? All right, now you should go. Gotta talk with, uh, talk with the same man later myself. Okay, well, thanks, I guess. Hmm, okay. So he beat up Unicorn and took my pearl back, my soul, or whatever you want to call it. But why? Did he take it because he was upset that I gave it to him? Because I can't think that he just doesn't like the Unicorn that much that he just beat him up. I mean, come on, that dude's like four inches tall and I don't get it. He's just angry at life. Okay, there's nothing here. Nothing's going on. 
Nobody's anywhere. Lullaby, where'd you go? Seriously. I have no idea where he went. Or where I should go, even. Because I'm lost. I got the powder, and I'm guessing we're going to try and put the same man to sleep himself. Which doesn't quite make a lot of sense to me. Because that wouldn't stop anything. But that seems to be the consensus, at least, that I'm, like, working towards. Um... I just don't know what else I can do. Yeah, you know, that's the same. Well? I don't know. There was the note that said put out the emerald flame. Which, I mean... There's you. Hi. Can I put you out? I don't think I should be using my... My sand on you, but, I mean, hey, it's worth a shot, I guess. Sleep? No? Okay. I don't think there's anything I can do with you. I got an emerald flame, but why? Uh-oh, uh oh uh-oh! Uh -oh. No, 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 no. Okay... There's a room over here that has, like, candles that I never understood why they were there. This room. What do you do? Stairs! Oh! An incomplete landscape painting and paints. One of the paint colors is missing. Looks like a diary. Oh, I will read it. We're gonna read this and then we'll... Uh, and then we'll save. Actually, we'll save now, but we'll end the episode after we read his diary. Because I want to. Oh, I'm so sleepy I can't stand it. How many centuries have I gone without sleep? One. Uh, when the world was flat, when night fell uh, all that one time, I wish I could just work at night and sleep during the day. I was so pleased with my job then. But now the world is round and night is everywhere. Night on the other side of wherever it is day. For a world where night is always falling, I cannot sleep. If I sleep, then the humans will be sleepless. My only solace is seeing humans sleep soundly, but now, even that, I can't truly appreciate. If only I had some of that blessed sleep. I've had enough. I'm so exhausted, I can't help wanting to sleep. I made a machine to stop time. I'll stop time in the human world and put them all to sleep. Forever, yes, but only for a little while. Only for a little while. I see! So... He's exhausted because the world continues to rotate as a sphere now, as opposed to being flat, so he can't rest. And so he's so exhausted that he wants to put the entire world to sleep, so that he can sleep. I can see that. I can see that being a justified thing. Completed the internal sleeping sand, stop time, and sprinkled it in the human world. Most humans fell asleep, but it seems not all. Those with unease, anger, sorrow. How sad to be unable to sleep. I'll create lullaby for their sake. For the eternal sleep they deserve, I'll clear up their grief. Humans have the right to be happy as they sleep. That meddling, idiotic unicorn has brought a visitor to this world, Sophie Grundler. The girl with a smile like a goddess of the sun. She, too, was one of the sleepless humans. Even my creation lullaby was ineffective. I must send her to sweet dreamland soon. That is my mission. Sandman. Whoa. Made it here, huh, Sophie? Is that you, lullaby? What happened to... No need to put that form on anymore. Of course, I'm just lullaby, so I don't have any form. Seems like something happened with you, Sophie. You were glaring at me before, but now you have a much kinder look. Well, because you look like David. Do you not hate me now? No, I don't. What about David? How should I know? Lullaby. The same man was troubled and sleepless too, right? That's right. He's so serious, he doesn't know how to take a break, and that's what led to the current situation. Oh, I feel so bad for him. How hard must that be? Sleepless for centuries because of humans. Fairies are hard workers. So the same man couldn't sleep? 
He had to stay up and keep working. Lullaby. What do you think I should do? Just take the sleeping sand and just fit it in your face. All of it. Just You'll be out in like four seconds. That's up to you, Sophie. No! I don't know what to do anymore. I don't want to sleep forever. But if I stop him, Sandman can't sleep. He'll still be suffering. Listen, Sophie. Didn't your mother always tell you? Do what you want to do. I know what you want deep in your heart, but you have to realize it for yourself. What do you want? I... I have to stop the Sandman, but... Sandman was in the long corridor earlier. Go meet him. Think it over, Sophie. Think about what you want. Oh, this is getting really intense! What would you do? Would you willingly put yourself to sleep forever so that the same man could get some rest or would you fight him knowing that he didn't do anything wrong? Oh, that's a dilemma. But it is one that we're going to have to solve next time because I'm all out of time for this episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys on the next MAMJ. Let's play. Ooh, those red bloodshot eyes don't work very well, do they, Sandman? That's okay. I'm alright with that. Whew. He left? He didn't see me. Hi! Ah! That was creepy.